All right, everybody, this is Ross. We are super excited this morning because I have just a crazy breakfast. I got a pink brandy wine tomato. I have three mangoes. Yes, I'll probably eat all of this. <laughs> um, also, we have within these mangoes potentially two or three interesting, highly regarded varieties within mangoes. A friend of a friend sent these to me. Uh, it's not a... Um, a promotional video which I think is pretty interesting because most people when they do these mango tastings they're getting some sort of promotion um, on YouTube either from like Miami Fruit or the Mango Men Homestead in Florida you know I would love to do those promotional videos but I do find that uh, it's perhaps a little bit inaccurate uh, you know because it is a promotion it's just sort of the nature of it um, you know, I've always been very interested in mangoes to see where they stack up uh, against other fruits. To also see, you know, what really is the deal with this fruit? Why do people really love these mangoes so much? And the only way you're ever going to find that out is if you grow a bunch of different varieties and you're able to get them tree ripened right off the tree. Because if you get them from the store, they're just far, far less superior. They're honestly crap. Uh, there is one mango at the store. I forget the name of it, but it's a smaller, it's a smaller yellow one, like this shape here, and uh, it's pretty decent for a mango that you can get at the store. But I find that these are definitely uh, a much better treat. And I've been eating these over the last couple days now because they haven't been all ripe at the same time. Thankfully, these have been. We did a comparison between the mango versus the fig. I thought that was really interesting. A friend of a friend of mine sent these to me, so I didn't grow these myself. Um, however, you know, these should be a good representation, I think, of what a mango should taste like. And I've got a variety here called uh, Valencia Pride. At least that's what I think this is. And it smells wonderful. Oh man, and then I also have here, this is either a Kent or a Keat, and I think this is the same thing as what I've been eating the last couple days, which is either a Kent or a Keat. And then I've also got right next to it, which I also think might be a Kent or a Keat. I really don't know, and it's a shame because my friend doesn't know either. Maybe somebody could identify this mango. But I find that the spots on here, the black spots, also the shape, the color, very similar. And I'll know just by eating this if indeed they are the same. Um, this Valencia Pride doesn't seem as ripe as the other uh, two mangoes, which is a bit of a shame. But I wanted to get this on camera to show you guys because I'm running out of opportunities here, I think that I can get these these mangoes here perfectly ripe side by side. I'm just running out of time. Oh, that mango's quite good. Just some of the juice there was incredible. They're extremely juicy fruits, I find. When homegrown like this, it's like you're eating, you don't even need to drink water. You're getting all the water you need in one mango. All right, let's open these up. Mm, this definitely smells, <clears throat> this smaller one, I thought might be different than the Kent or the Keat that I've been eating the last couple days. But I think they're exactly the same. All right, so I had about four Kent or Keats. Um, the first one I had was a bit spoiled. I don't know what variety that was. And now I have this uh, Valencia Pride here. So the Valencia Pride, if this impresses me, and maybe I should have waited, I guess, till it was a little bit more ripe. Oh man, sort of regretting it because I, this variety here, whether it's a Kent or a Keat, is not the best mango I think you could eat. Um, I would say it's probably like a three or a three and a half out of five. It's good, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to eat it. I'm happy to be, to have this thing here in front of me. But I'll tell you, um, there's gotta be better varieties of mangoes out there. 
Yeah. So this is the Kenner Keat variety that I've been eating in the last couple of days. It's got a nice chalkiness to it, which I actually find to also occur in the pink brandy wine tomato, the Suddeth strain. Interestingly enough, I actually really like that chalkiness to it. Adds a nice complexity. It's not like eating chalk or anything, but that's the closest word that I can associate um, this particular flavor. Flavor. It might be more of that mango flavor that's deep down in the in the mango. That probably is a better description for this. It's so good. I don't find the chalkiness though in really any other tomato besides this pink brandy one. All right, let's try this, this smaller one here. Could be the Kenner Keat, let's see. Yeah, it's the same exact variety. Tastes exactly the same. Very good, tropical flavor, very juicy, very smooth, no fiber. Um, very sweet, very low acidity. But very good. It's seriously a very good tomato. Um, and now let's try the Valencia Pride here. For anybody that's interesting, interested, it has a different shape, a lot smaller of a mango. The flesh there is not as dark yellow. It's more, or dark orange, it's more of a yellow. And then you've also got this side here, which the back side I think is more red. So it's got some nice blush to it. This one reminds me, I guess, more of the shape of like a Nam Dok Mai, I think. Okay, that's, that's quite different. Um, not that sweet. This tastes more like a mango I'd find at the store. And maybe it was picked early. Maybe I am eating it too early as well. That's very possible. This was the, le the least ripe of all the mangoes I received. So it's possible. This one has more of that mango flavor to it. Less tropicalness, if that makes any sense. More mango. More of that chalkiness. It's definitely not ripe, unfortunately. Maybe if I get a more ripe portion of the mango, let's try this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm tasting a bigger difference. So that's a lot sweeter, not as juicy. More of that mango chalkiness that I was talking about. It's almost like a, a certain type of sugar as well with it. That's almost like a almost like a brown sugar flavor with this one. That's pretty good. That's a really good mango. And I wonder if I can get more parts of this mango because different parts of it are going to be more ripe than others. This interior here near the pit might be more ripe. It's almost uh, pineapple-y. It's like eating a pineapple without acidity. It's very low acidity. Very good. Honestly, if this one was more ripe, as equally ripe as this one, this Valencia Pride, I probably would like this more than, than the others than the other uh, can or keat, whatever that is. It's quite good. Yeah. Mm. So, 
I would say that both of them are like a three, three and a half out of five on my mango scale. Although I never had a five, so I don't know <laughs> exactly where these mangoes rank, but uh, someday we will. Someday we'll have a nice little sampler of very interesting, very tasty varieties of mangoes. We'll be able to accurately give these guys a nice rating, but for my money, they're extremely good. Very happy to have them. Thank you to my buddy Dave who sent these to me. Um, if you can grow mangoes, I would highly suggest that you do. They are a wonderful, wonderful fruit. Probably one of the better fruits you can grow in those particular climates. So thank you guys here so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, uh, check out our other video that we did on comparing a fig, a home-ripened, home homegrown fig to a tree-ripened mango. See you guys soon. Hit that subscribe button for me. Take care.